guys you guys your girl has such an exciting smile on her face because god is faithful ah you guys god makes all things beautiful in his perfect time and this month of may has been so exciting for me so so exciting for me hmm. There's so many testimonies that I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this vlog. But welcome back again to my channel. Welcome back to Bums' Spot. And I hope you're enjoying and loving it. On the air, you guys, thank you so much for 6K subscribers. I am super elated. I am so happy. I am so thankful. I am actually thankful for this 6K in particular because... Uh, if you guys know the backstory, you're gonna give me a tap on the back, but I'm so grateful for 6K subscribers. Thank you guys for finding me worthy to stick with me and subscribe with me. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, more subscribers to come. But you guys, you guys, you guys, month of May has just been such an exciting month for me. Yeah, ever since I got my first paycheck, yeah, I have just been on a benchmark of a particular figure every single month. Like, that's what I earn every single month, you know. But I have constantly earned on YouTube ever since I got monetized, you know, every single month. But this month of May took another turn on my channel, you guys. I am so grateful. Compared to the last four months, you know, of consecutively earning on YouTube, this has been my highest paid month and i am so grateful for it you guys and uh, i realized that a lot of people actually enjoyed my vlogs to my sit down videos i know like you know i yes i have to incorporate my sit down videos and all but i just told myself like in the month of may i'm just going to give my audience what they like and what they want and i just stuck to doing vlogs back to back back to back back to back and you guys the views were amazing the subscribers like the subscribers that it even attracted they attracted even more subscribers like thank you guys so so much it attracted my analytics is showing me that it attracted over 554 subscribers Thank you so much. I feel like you guys also enjoyed the video where I put, I say, Rivers Married Anna Brand, how I welcome my Igbo in-laws and all of that. And there's a video that I actually posted two months ago that just picked up from nowhere and just, thank you. Thank you. Gracias. I really do appreciate. I am, I am smiling. I am smiling to the bank, but I am also thankful to you guys for watching, for engaging, for subscribing, for joining the Boomsies Army. Thank you so, so much. See, I'm just tempted to actually just go on with my vlogs and just continue giving you guys my vlogs and look at how I can incorporate everything in just a vlog. But yeah, thank you guys so much another huge 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 testimony for my og subscribers you guys are going to know my very wonderful colleague i was her chief bridesmaid sometime last year in may yes i was her chief bridesmaid by this time last year you know few weeks back we were what they call it running running to the altar and all of that and i brought her on this channel to actually share her story as well she got married in her late 30s i'm never even going to say she got married late because you know when is god appointed time for you to get married whether it's in your 40s or whether it's in your late 30s and all of that you know he will make it possible she got married in her late 30s she had a failed engagement and you know waited for like five years and all of that and just kept believing god i talked about it i titled that video i'm actually going to link it up here i titled that video pressure to get married was it pressure to get married before 30 and all that you know people were saying to her and all of that you know but how she just kept the faith alive and just kept trusting god and just kept believing god and you guys, eh, for the longest of time that I've worked with Bella, I've worked with Bella for several years. And for the longest of time that I've worked with Bella, and then we talk about children, and then we just talk about, you know, how many children we want and all. And then she kept saying that if she's getting married by this time, that she has told God that if, if husband have not come by this particular time and she eventually gets married, that she wants to do it once and for all. She just wants twins. She wants to do it once and for all. You guys, the day Bella came to this house to actually tell me that she was pregnant in her early pregnancies, 
she was pregnant with twins <laughs> You guys say ah people that are almost 40 you know it's very difficult i hear people's mouth just whining like you, you know you are god it's very difficult if you get married early the benefit of getting married early is that you give birth to your children early you can get married early and have fertility issues and struggle and struggle and struggle you can get married you know at the definition of the society late and pam at one touch you will get pregnant almost immediately. God's time is the best. God is the giver of children. That's what I've come to understand, that God is the giver of children. You guys, Bella came to my house, you know, last year, and I fell on the floor when she showed me that, ah, I'm pregnant, too. And I was like, oh, thank you, just like, it's not one, or it's two. I'm like, what? Is this how God answers prayers? I'm like, what? You guys, <laughs> Bella put to bed a few days ago a boy and a girl. Yes, a boy and a girl. Perfect little ones. You guys, these twins were independently growing on their own. They had their own sack, they had their own placenta. So they even came out like I was even asking the husband because she put to bed in her husband's hospital. I was asking the husband that. Did they, because I was showing me the video and all, I said, did they come out with one placenta or they came out? How, how, how were they like, you know, he said they were just like two housemates living inside the same house. You know, they are just independent twins on their own. They had their own placenta. They had their own sack. And to God be all the glory. You know, after this video, I'm going to show you the video where we're going to go and see Bella and the twins. And I'm just so seeing Looking at Bella, Bella's life is a testimony. And please, right, I would just want to come and encourage someone here that don't rush God. Don't rush the process. Don't rush the process. See, you are holding on to that toxic man or toxic relationship because you feel like time is ticking. And you know, every other person around you, don't marry, don't bond, this and that and that. But yours has not come. Don't. Don't. Because, you know, keep holding on to toxicity and all of that your destiny eh who you marry can make or mar your destiny to be very honest with you you don't want to live an unhappy life that god has not there's something that is called permissive will if you keep holding on you know god will say okay yes you know this is what you want abby take it but if you allow him to do it the way he wants it for you you would enjoy yourself to the fullest i just looking i was just looking at bella and her husband i'm like god is faithful like god is <sighs> you guys will not understand but let me show you guys the clip of when we went to the hospital to go and visit her and let me head into the kitchen and actually just make pancakes before i head out to go and complete my pvc registration and yeah i hope you enjoyed this vlog for my og subscribers you will know who bella is like for my og subscribers you will know who bella is just you know say congratulations in the comment section and as many people that are looking for the fruit of the home as many people that are looking for spouse don't be shy about it like the society always makes people say oh marriage is not an achievement children are not achievement blah 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 my dear if you marry right it's an achievement when you go through the process of labor life and death so someone cuts you open for those that have cs someone cuts you open bring out children for you a society will not come and tell you that marriage sorry having a child is not an achievement my dear the greatest achievement i, I won't have it like, so you guys just enjoy this vlog and yeah welcome. you'll be on all of the nonsense it's always a process it's always a process I'm way too used to it, happens so often It's so exhausting, I'm so exhausted yeah, 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 yeah. You'll be on all of that nonsense How I'm still surprised when it's always a process I'm way too used to this, it happens too often It's so exhausting, I'm so exhausted yeah, 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 yeah.
to you Punch in the clock, no time sheet Weak in the knees when you speak Can't catch a breath when you reach You know my steps better than me Temperature hot like the summertime outside Make we go feel right and cruise control it Won't say a word, won't mash up the moment now Cause we're up on the highway, we have to work this out Lose in touch while I grip your thighs Hand on the wheel, but you got my eyes Why you drive me out my you mind? Guys, red beats your patriotic Nigerian citizen. Hmm, you guys, eh, today, I don't think I even wore this wig, but ah, oh God. Huh. Let me just get into it. We went there, we just went there, and then my star kept a number for me, number 52. So, <laughs> hey God, I miss you. Food is a bad thing. Standing on the queue now, just waiting to get to my turn. I said, ah, it's still far before it gets to my turn. So I just told my husband, because my husband was like number 60. I just told my husband, let's just go and grab a bite that is just close. The smell of one moi moi was just hitting my nose. I said, okay, let us just go and buy the moi moi, eat it there in the cafeteria, and then just quickly come back. But we told the person that was in front of me that, please, I'm coming back home. <sighs> Brothers and sisters, by the time we finished, next thing, in the cafeteria there, we said, I ain't done that strike. Brogum, brogum, brogum. I said, hi, is this thing rain? Like, is this thing rain? Ah, oh, God. I neck people did not come with like an umbrella or it was under a canopy. Like, there was no shade. They actually just brought their decks and their laptop and all. If you've registered online, it will just be pam, 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 pam for you to complete your registration and all of that. You give them your local government where you want to vote and that. There's also what they call a registration online as well. But if you've not registered online and you just want to do like fresh registration, they're also there to do the proper registration for you as well. You guys, eh? <laughs> By the time we just finished, we said that was run back. We could see that they were clearing their things because the rain was just massive. We just ran to the car and just started coming back. It doesn't make me feel good. We're actually going to try again tomorrow. But tomorrow now, I don't know because uh, uh, I'm still going to try. I've tried to do my registration online, but they're also telling me that I should complete my registration. I just don't know. I'll try again tomorrow. I will. I most definitely because eh, come this 2023 election, I really want to vote. And you guys should also try, you know, get your PVC. Get your PVC. It's enough to just sit down in your homes and just complain about things and all of that. But get your PVC so that your vote can count. So yeah, I will try again tomorrow. And at least I did not lose everything. I ate my sweet moi moi. See, yeah, that moment is like, I don't know. We would have bought more than what we bought, but yeah, you guys. <laughs> I'll try again, you guys. I'll try again. I'll come and give you a feedback. Maybe not in this video, another vlog of how it went and all of that. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed all my testimony. See, yeah, testimonies most times and sharing your good news is to boost the faith of others. It's not to, you know, keep it to yourself. I don't want to share the world is evil out there. No, it's to boost the faith of others.